For our Lenten devotions, we're going to use a story to tell, written by four different Lutheran pastors as they go through the book of Mark. The thing about the book of Mark is he uses the word immediately a lot. There's a sense of urgency. And so as we walk through the 40 days of Lent, preparing ourselves for what is the chief holiday of the Christian church, the death and resurrection of Christ, that we um, take a moment each day to think and remember and to realize that we are responsible for ourselves and our responding in faith to this great gift that God has given us. So as always, we begin this day by remembering all of the hope and the promises that God gives us and the joy that that brings to us. We stop and realize that every day I am the face of God to those that I meet, and I will end each day by thanking God for the blessings that I've received and not just looking at the problems that I encountered and the challenges that we face, but also that God indeed was with us and for us during the day. And so we entrust our lives to him.
Today we read from A Story to Tell, Devotions for Lent 2021. It is Saturday, February 20th. Today's reading comes from Mark chapter 1, verses 12 through 15. And the Spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness forty days, tempted by Satan, and he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. Living without a name for the entity that shares that shames us is like living with an undiagnosed disease. Day after day, you feel awful, but don't know it's related to an illness. You start thinking there is no hope for you. Then at your yearly physical, you learn that you have symptoms of a disease that has a name. Suddenly you can see yourself apart from the symptoms and begin to treat the disease. When the accuser's voice begins to wrap around you, constricting your movement and making the space around you and within you dismal and desolate, shaming you into thinking you are worthless and unlovable. Know that it has a name and that the church is here to shut down that loud mouth. Loving God, I am repeatedly tempted to trust the accuser's lies over your truth. Protect me from this temptation and anchor me today in the truth of your love and forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen.